Hi, Louis from Spitfire Audio here, bringing you a walkthrough on three bespoke sample packs that we've created exclusively for Ableton Live 11. The three packs feature all new sample content from us here at Spitfire, all programmed in Ableton's built-in sampler, with the packs able to take full advantage of Live 11's new features such as MP control and hybrid reverb. So the three packs I'll be showing off today are the string quartet, brass quartet, and upright piano. And these are included in Live 11 suite for free, and for Live 11 intro and standard users, you'll be able to purchase these packs through the Ableton website. Let's start off with our upright piano. This is a beautiful Beckstein Model 7 made in 1910. It's a nice big piano with a really rich and full tone. It's incredibly responsive to play, and we've got a nice close mix of Coles 4038s, Neumann's M149s, and Sherps as the remikes, which have been expertly blended to give you that intimate sound as well as being quite versatile. So, this is what our UI looks like with our eight macro controls here. And by clicking the arrow in the bottom left, you've got an information window telling you about specific controls as your mouse hovers over them. So, you're able to control the pedal noise when you press and release the sustain pedal as well as the noise of the hammers when you release a note. So if I turn it up all the way, you should be able to hear that. We also have our reverb controls here for the hybrid reverb, something new to Live 11. So we've created an intimate hall preset for the reverb, giving you that realistic room sound. You can also use the attack to soften the starts of notes or turn it all the way up to create some really pad-like sounds. So with it down, if I just turn it up a little bit. And then turning it up all the way. And you can also toggle the release control to let the strings ring out after the notes are played. The tone control uses a carefully curated EQ preset tailored specifically to the piano, which allows you to have really dark and warm sounds uh, with it turned all the way down. or a much brighter sound with its hand all the way up. Also new to Live 11, we've got these snapshots which allow you to quickly jump between macro settings. So with the intimate setting selected, we've got our pedal noise and our hammers uh, turned all the way up, sounding like this. You can hear a lot of mechanical noise there, which makes you feel like you're really inside the piano. We've also got a default one with the balance setting, as well as a fairly tight one with the bright setting, being quite light with the tone control turned all the way up there. The hall setting gives us a lot of reverb and makes everything feel a bit more spaced out. So we've got the reverb time turned up there on that one, with the attack a bit higher to soften the notes, as well as turning all of the mechanical noise off. And because we've got the reverb up, we've turned the volume down uh, just a bit there as well. And lastly, we've got the pad setting here with the reverb and attack turned up super high, as well as the mechanical noise and the release triggers turned completely low or off. And it sounds like this. You can get really experimental with it, and it just shows how versatile this upright piano pack is. We've also got 50 MIDI clips here, which you can drag and drop uh, as a good place to start or for a bit of inspiration. The samples that make up the instrument are also included in the samples folder, and that goes for both of the other packs as well. We also have three custom utility Max for Live devices in the utility folder, and these Max for Live devices are hidden away inside the instrument racks and are used to expand on some of the features in Ableton Sampler. Now, moving on to the string quartet pack. These are four of London's finest string players recorded at Air Adele Studios, and similarly to the piano, we have a mix of valve mics and vintage ribbon mics for the rooms to give the mix character and versatility. Both the string quartet and brass quartet packs 
uh, recorded as a pre-orchestrated ensemble with all the instruments at your fingertips naturally moving between instruments as you move through the range. So for the string quartet, the layout is two violins, viola and cello. In the instruments folder, we have three types of instruments here, the all-in-ones, individual and MPE. Let's take a look at the longs all-in-ones first. A standout feature for our all-in-one instruments is the technique control, allowing you to seamlessly transition between different playing techniques, moving from softer techniques to a medium technique, to a more intense technique when it's turned all the way up. This was inspired by subtractive synths. However, we're not using any filters here. Instead, we're transitioning between recordings of players uh, performing at different timbres. We have five snapshots here indicating what articulations we'll be moving through, uh, as well as being able to click them to jump to that articulation. Let's move through our technique control so we can hear the sound move from our softest sound, which is super saltasto, uh, all the way through to tremolo when turned all the way up. You can hear how we're changing the timbre continuously like a filter. And like I mentioned, you can just click uh, through the different snapshots uh, to quickly move between different articulations. I was also using the dynamics there on my fader to shape the phrases. And uh, using the dynamics control is essential to modulate in order to create uh, some realism. You can assign the dynamics and other macros to your MIDI controller by clicking MIDI in the top right, and then clicking on the parameter that you want to map and then moving your fader bank or your mod wheel to assign. So I've got dynamics and technique uh, assigned to these two faders here. Looking back at the UI, we've got similar controls to our upright piano pack uh, with the same reverb preset being used for the string quartet. And then for tone, the string uses an EQ preset that's specifically tailored to the strings this time rather than piano. Next, we have the short all-in-one instrument with a similar sort of layout as the long all-in-ones with technique being a key feature. You see, we have our snapshots on the left again where you can jump between the different articulations. Worth mentioning that as well as changing the timbre, adjusting the technique also changes the articulation on these, going from soft brushed sortasto, which is a bit of a longer short sound, uh, through to mid-length shorts with a staccato, and then something quite tight with a spiccato, and then something as tight as possible with our pizzicato. So the technique changes the timbre and length of the notes at the same time. We also have a velocity sensitivity control on the shorts here. So at higher values, the instrument becomes a lot more reactive and sensitive to how hard you're playing the keyboard. And then all the way down at 10%, the instrument is barely reacting to how hard you're playing at all. Moving on, we also have individual techniques in the instruments folder. So that's every articulation present in the pack available as their own instrument to drag and drop uh, to allow for a bit more control and that's the same for the brass quartet as well. Now with our MPE instruments, we have three curated presets being glacial, intimate, and spectral, each with three variations in how you play and control them, being pressure, slide and pressure, and slide. All the MPE presets have a different combination of the articulations present within them. So with variations controlled with pressure, the softer you press on the controller, you get the softest and lowest layer, and as you press harder, you get the highest layer, in this case being Solpont. And what's significant about the MPE instruments, which is different to the all-in-ones, is that you can control the technique of each note individually with each finger you're playing on, which is super cool. Another feature of the MPE instruments is the ability to also control pitch bends per note. So I can pitch bend one note whilst also holding one note on the same pitch. We also have a pressure invert here which means you can get a harder sound when you're playing softer and a softer sound when you're pressing hard. So it just flips it, giving you a different way to use and think about the presets. The slide variation works in a similar way. However, instead of using pressure to change the technique, we're using the MPE slide. So when I slide away from myself, we get higher layers 
and sliding towards myself, we get the softer layers, like so. This can also be inverted here, as well as the MPE and individual instruments having a saturation control uh, to give you a bit of warmth and colour to your sound, as well as distorting it if you turn it all the way up. For slide and pressure variations of the MPE presets, we're back to controlling the technique with pressure, but the slide in this one controls how much of the sound we're sending to a reverb, and we've got a different reverb preset for this one, which is a big, long, dark reverb that you can see by opening up here and then clicking on black ice and you can tweak the reverb as well. You've got all these different parameters here. And again, you can control the notes individually with the pressure and slide, and the more you slide away from yourself, the more sound is being sent to our reverb. These two can also be inverted if you so wish. Moving on, we have 50 more MIDI clips for the string quartet, as well as three more uh, Max for Live devices, which again are performing a similar role hidden inside the instrument to expand on some of the features that the Ableton sampler has. Now finally, onto the brass quartet pack. We've selected four of London's finest brass players performing a quartet consisting of trombone, French horn, flugelhorn, and trumpet, also recorded at Aerodale with a similar mic setup to our string quartet. The layout for this pack is very similar to our strings and I'll go ahead and walk you through the articulations for the brass quartet's long all-in-one. So just like our string quartet, we have our softer techniques leading through to our more intense techniques. So we start off really gently with air, moving to hollow, gradually getting less withdrawn, then to senza vibrato, meaning without vibrato, then vibrato, all the way up to our flutter and pitch, with flutter being uh, a really powerful growling sound where the brass players are using all the power in their lungs and then combining that with pitch, providing random microtonal pitch bends over the course of the notes. So let's move through the articulations. Then if we look at the brass quartet's short all-in-ones, again we have the same control layout as our string quartet's short all-in-ones, and we can have a look at the articulations present within this. So starting off with our soft. Then we've got staccato. And finally, staccatissimo. And you can hear, like with the string quartet, the length of the note is shorter as we increase the technique. Like I've already mentioned, we have the individual techniques within the instruments folder for the brass quartet as well as the string quartet containing every articulation present in the pack available as their own instrument if you prefer to create with that layout. Also like our string quartet, we have MPE instruments for our brass quartet with three curated presets being erosion, intimate and vibrato, each again with their own three variations to control them being pressure, slide and pressure and slide. Let's give all three a lesson. And just like the other two packs, we have 50 more MIDI clips available for our brass quartet and another three utility Max for Live devices hidden inside the instrument to expand on some of the features that Ableton Sampler has. And that brings us to the end. There's a fantastic set of instruments in these three packs. So for those of you using Ableton Live 11, I hope you enjoy. Thanks again for watching and take care.